Ever wondered about the buzzword cloud computing and what it exactly means? Well, let's journey into the world of technology and uncover the mystery. In simplest terms, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services like servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet. It's like having your own high-tech toolbox right at your fingertips without having to own or maintain the toolbox yourself. There are some pretty impressive benefits to this setup. First off, it's cost efficient. With cloud computing, you only pay for what you use. It's like renting a car instead of buying one. You don't have to worry about the maintenance, upgrading, or replacing parts. You just enjoy the ride. Next is scalability. Imagine you're hosting a party and you're not sure how many guests will show up. With cloud computing, it doesn't matter if you have 10 guests or 100. The system can easily adapt to handle the load, scaling up or down as needed. It's flexibility at its best. Speaking of flexibility, cloud computing allows you to work from anywhere, at any time. It's like having a virtual office that follows you wherever you go. As long as you have an internet connection, you're good to go. Now, let's talk about the three main types of cloud services. First, there's infrastructure as a service, or IaaS. This is like renting a house. You have control over the interior, but the landlord takes care of the structural issues and maintenance. Then there's platform as a service, or PAS. It's like a chef's kitchen. You're given the tools and environment to cook up your own applications without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. Finally, we have software as a service, or SAS. This is like watching a movie on a streaming platform. You don't own the movie or the platform. You just enjoy the content. So, in essence, cloud computing is all about using the internet to access someone else's software running on their hardware. It's a whole new way of experiencing technology, and it's reshaping how we live and work. First, let's take a plunge into infrastructure as a service or IaaS. Often we hear the term thrown around in tech conversations, but what does it really mean? Imagine running a business, you need a robust IT infrastructure to support your operations. This includes servers to store and process data, networks to connect your systems, and operating systems to manage your software. But setting up this infrastructure is not only time-consuming, but it's also costly. Enter IAS. Infrastructure as a Service, or IAS, is a model where businesses rent IT infrastructure from a cloud provider. Think of it as leasing a car. Instead of buying a vehicle outright, you pay a monthly fee to use it with the added bonus of not worrying about maintenance or upgrades. Now, why is IAS a big deal? For starters, cost effectiveness. Businesses can avoid the hefty upfront costs of setting up an IT infrastructure. Instead, they pay for what they use, allowing them to scale their costs with their needs. It's a model that can save businesses a significant amount of money particularly those that are just starting out or those that experience fluctuating demand. Secondly, scalability. With IAS, businesses can easily adjust their IT resources to match their needs. Need more storage space? Just rent more. Experiencing a slow period and need less computing power? Scale down. This flexibility allows businesses to adapt quickly to changes, making them more resilient and agile. Finally, location independence. With IaaS, your IT infrastructure is hosted in the cloud. This means you can access your systems and data from anywhere in the world. It's a significant advantage in today's globalized business environment, where teams often work from different locations and time zones. IaaS can be a game changer for businesses, offering them agility and flexibility without the high upfront costs of setting up an IT infrastructure. It's a stepping stone into the future of business operations, where the focus is on efficiency, adaptability, and cost-effectiveness. And that's the power of infrastructure as a service. Next up is Platform as a Service, or PAS. In the realm of cloud computing, Platform as a Service, often abbreviated as PAS, is a critical and dynamic model. It offers a stage, or rather, a platform for developers to build, test, and manage their applications. Picture it as a one-stop shop, where developers can find everything they need to bring their visions to life. PAS is like a playground for developers, a digital sandbox, if you will, 
where they can tinker, experiment, and create without having to worry about the nitty-gritty of setting up and maintaining the playground itself. It's a space where the focus can be solely on the creative process of crafting innovative applications. So what makes POS such a game-changer? Let's break it down. Firstly, ease of use. With PAS, developers don't need to worry about the underlying infrastructure. They don't need to manage servers, storage, or networking. They simply access the platform through a web browser and start creating. The platform handles all the complexities of infrastructure management, freeing developers to concentrate on their code. Secondly, PAS is cost-effective. It reduces the upfront costs of setting up and running on-site hardware and software. There's no need to purchase and install expensive servers or software licenses. PAS operates on a pay-as-you-go model, ensuring you pay only for what you use. Thirdly, PAS allows developers to focus on what truly matters, coding. They can spend their time and energy on writing and refining their code, rather than getting bogged down in system setup and maintenance. This focus on coding over infrastructure management leads to greater productivity and faster deployment of applications. In a nutshell, PayS is all about enabling creativity and innovation. It's about providing a platform that takes care of the mundane and complex, so developers can focus on the exciting and transformative. It's about turning ideas into applications, quickly, efficiently, and cost-effectively. PayS provides a platform for creativity, allowing developers to focus on what they do best, creating innovative applications. Last but not least, we have Software as a Service, commonly known as SaaS. Let's dive into this fascinating world. SaaS is a software distribution model that's as innovative as it sounds. Imagine your favorite applications, not in a box, not on a disk, but floating in the cloud, ready for you to access at any time, from anywhere. That's SaaS for you. At its core, SaaS is all about convenience. It's like your favorite coffee shop, you don't need to grow the beans, roast them, or brew the coffee. You just need to show up, place your order, and enjoy your cup of joe. Similarly, with SayAS, the vendor or service provider hosts the applications, maintains them, and takes care of all the technical intricacies. All you need to do is log in and use the software. But the convenience doesn't stop there. One of the greatest advantages of SayAS is its accessibility. Whether you're on your laptop, tablet, or smartphone, if you've got an internet connection, you've got access to your software. It's like having a virtual office that's always open, always available. Now, let's talk about updates. In the traditional software model, updates can be a real headache. But with SaaS, updates are automatic. No more manual downloads or installs. Your software is always up to date, always at the cutting edge. Finally, there's the matter of cost. SAS operates on a flexible payment model. Instead of a hefty upfront cost, you pay a monthly or annual subscription fee. This allows businesses to better manage their software expenses, making SAS an attractive option for startups and established businesses alike. In a nutshell, SAS isn't just a software distribution model. It's a game changer. It's about accessibility. It's about efficiency. And it's about affordability. It's about enabling businesses to focus on what they do best, while the software takes care of the rest. SayS has revolutionized the way businesses use software, making it more accessible and cost-effective than ever before. Now that we've covered the basics of cloud computing, it's time to summarize what we've learned. We started our journey by defining cloud computing as the delivery of computing services over the internet, instead of on local servers or personal devices. This revolutionary approach has drastically altered the way businesses operate, offering flexibility, cost efficiency, and easy access to resources and applications. We then navigated through the first layer of the cloud, Infrastructure as a Service, or IaaS. This model provides virtualized computing resources online, eliminating the need for a physical data center. It's like renting a house. You have the space, but the landlord takes care of the maintenance. IAAS has been a game changer, allowing businesses to scale resources up and down easily, depending on their needs. Next, we scaled the second layer of the cloud, Platform as a Service, or PAS. 
This service model delivers a platform and environment to developers to design, build, and deploy applications. It's the equivalent of renting a fully furnished house, where you have everything you need to live comfortably. PAS has streamlined the app development process, freeing developers from infrastructure management to focus on innovation. Finally, we ascended to the final layer, Software as a Service, or SAAS. This model delivers software over the internet on a subscription basis. It's like watching your favorite show on a streaming platform. You don't need to own the show. You just need a subscription. SAAS has simplified software deployment and maintenance, providing access to sophisticated applications that were once out of reach for many businesses. In essence, each of these service models, IAAS, PAS, and SAAS, has its unique advantages but their common denominator is the cloud. They've transformed business operations, making them more efficient, flexible, and scalable. So, whether you're a budding entrepreneur or an established business owner, these cloud computing concepts and architectures are worth exploring further. With cloud computing, the sky's the limit. So why not take your business to the clouds?